Hey guys, Greg Knuckles here with the semi-daily string theory Q&A. Uh, our question today is how can I find my optimal grip width for the bench press? Um, and I will say uh, just from the outset of this video that um, this doesn't have an overly complicated answer, so uh, don't watch this with the expectation of just getting your mind blown. Um, there is a pretty simple process you can use uh, to determine what the strongest uh, grip width will be for you. Uh, and one other thing I want to say before we get started, tomorrow um, we are dropping a massive bench guide on the String Theory site, so um, just keep a lookout for that. The URL will just be uh, stringtheory.com slash how dash to dash bench. Uh, and it's going to be pretty awesome, so if you want to know a lot more about bench press, um, check that out tomorrow when it goes up. So, um, just to start with, most people, most of the time, find that their strongest bench width is uh, somewhere between 150 to 200 percent of their shoulder width of their biacromial breadth. So, acromion process there at the top of your shoulders. So, you know, uh, somewhere between slightly wider than shoulder width and twice shoulder width. So that's that's probably not overly surprising to anyone. And then also most world-class benchers, um, most of them, not all of them, but the vast majority, bench with the maximum legal width, uh, which is 81 centimeters. That's with your pointer fingers on the grip rings on a barbell. Um, so either that's likely the width that um, gives you the highest potential for strength increases, or just that most world-class benchers um, are built in a way that allow that to be the strongest position for them. Uh, hard to know which the causation uh, really is there, um, but for you, uh, that, that very well may not describe you, so very, very simple process you can use. Um, just start with your current grip width, how you, how you typically bench now, uh, and just uh, next time you go to the gym to bench, work up to about 75-80% of your one rep max, um, do a couple reps with your normal bench grip, then move your hands in about an inch or two, try a couple reps there, move your hands out an inch or two, try a couple reps there, and just kind of feel between the slightly narrower grip and the slightly wider grip, which one of those felt stronger. And then for about a month or two, just your heavy sets of bench, your working sets, just alternate one set with whatever your current grip width is and one with whichever one felt stronger. So let's just assume, um, you know, you bench a particular way, you try a little narrower, try a little wider, a little wider, maybe it doesn't feel quite as strong as your current grip width, which should be expected because uh, it's not the width you've been practicing with. So you'll probably not be quite as skilled with it. Um, so maybe it feels about as strong as your current grip, maybe a little bit weaker, but it does feel stronger than that slightly narrower grip you tried. Uh, for a month or two, just alternate your heavy sets um, with a slightly wider grip and with your normal grip. And then at the end of a couple months, if the wider grip feels stronger than your current grip does, uh, go with it and then troubleshoot further in that direction. So the slightly wider grip is now your, your typical uh, grip width and you know then just try another inch or two wider, give that a shot for a couple months and then just progressively see um, you know what feels strongest for you, just a, a process of troubleshooting and optimization. Um, and I, I will note uh, a lot of the technical issues that people ask me about, a similarly simple process works for them. So um, how wide should your feet be when you squat? Pretty similar. Uh, start how you currently squat, try a little narrower, try a little wider, and, you know, then for a while, just just experiment with between those two which one felt best. Alternate that with your normal squat stance, and if uh, a slight variation, wider or narrower, feels stronger, then go with that, and then troubleshoot again. Um, a lot of this stuff really isn't rocket science, uh, and there's no one-size-fits-all approaches. Um, you know, I like to squat really, really wide, um, and I, I, to some degree, I need to because, uh, well, that's a long story. My left ankle is just wrecked beyond repair, so very limited dorsiflexion that I'm probably never going to get back. So I have to squat wide just because my knees can't track very far forward, and luckily I'm very comfortable squatting wide. However, most people wouldn't be 
probably the strongest squatting as wide as I do, so they need to go narrower. Uh, you know, there's not one-size-fits-all approaches, and for most of these questions, um, you know, so stance width for the squat, should you pull conventional or sumo, Should what grip width should you bench, most of these things, just a really simple troubleshooting process um, is going to help you figure that out for yourself. Uh, and one thing I will say, the reason why I recommend um, just trying slight changes, so, you know, maybe just an inch or two different for um, for bench grip width, uh, same thing for squat stance, etc., is that, um, you know, you, your muscles and joints are used to a particular range of motion. Um, they have particular length tension relationships just based on how you've been training to this point. So by making small adjustments, um, that's probably going to decrease your risk of having, um, you know, something like tendonitis flare up uh, just from putting your joints through a range of motion they're not used to, um, placing demands on your muscles that are uh, dramatically different than what they're used to. So, you know, start with what you're currently comfortable with and then just make little adjustments and continue to do that every month or two and just see what you're the most comfortable with. And uh, yeah, that's that's the easiest way to figure it out for yourself. Um, I, I feel a little bit silly needing to make this video, but questions like that uh, are very, very common. They're probably about a quarter of the total questions I get. Um, I think people do think there are one-size-fits-all approaches for, for questions and topics like that, uh, and, and there really just aren't. Um, just figure it out for yourself via a gradual process of troubleshooting. Uh, so that is the video. Uh, if you liked it, please like and subscribe. Uh, and if you do want to know more about benching beyond just simple things like that that you can troubleshoot, uh, check out the guide that is dropping on String Theory tomorrow, just stringtheory.com slash how dash two dash bench. Uh, I think it's going to be, well, I know it's awesome. I hope you'll think it is as well. Um, and until then, hope your training's good. Hope you have a great day. And I will see you in that next video.